Right, Holly, speaking of napping weather, we're going to have to hold off until what? A little later today to get the, that good cold napping the cold, weather? The cold will be back. Yeah, it really will. And in fact, uh, it's right here behind our cold front, but we're still in the warm sector of this storm system. And if you've been out already, maybe it's, uh, you know, to let the dog out or it's your garbage day, you know, it feels like spring, quite literally. Lots going on. We've got rain that will be moving in throughout the course of this morning. Most of you are not seeing a drop as of yet. And then on the back edge of it, we are seeing snow. There's also concern for this transition zone in between rain to snow. So that's the biggest thing. There are so many watches, warnings, advisories. If I were to go through every single one of them, it would take up this entire time. So I'm just going to focus on what's going on right now, which is the flood watch. And that is for every one of you. So we had all the snow melt yesterday. It's still melting. And then on top of that, we obviously are expecting all of this rain. And we're talking upwards of an inch, like an inch and a half possible for just about all of you. So right now, Although we're dry and again, everything's highlighted in green because of the flood watch, we have the rain fastly approaching. So by mid morning and by late morning, especially rain likely and it will be moderate to heavy at times. So as far as how much an inch to an inch and a half plus is a potential and that is a lot of rain in a very short amount of time on top of snow melt, which, you know, by the way, flooding this time of the year when we're talking snow melt plus rain is not out of the norm. This is actually a very normal scenario for us here in Northeast Ohio. It's still breezy, windy, however you want to put it. We've got winds that are sustained from 15 to 25, but the wind gusts in yellow are still 30 plus and that will continue through today. We are in the 50s and some of you approaching 60 record high at Hopkins. 60 62. We're going to stay in the 50s through early afternoon and then see that slide. It's like that downward slope 40s, eventually 30s. And when we hit the 30s this evening and into the first part of tonight, that's where we get into ice concerns. So this is ice accumulation and any of this is definitely concerning. And as far as when that would happen, let's show you our National Design Mart hour by hour forecast. So you're well aware and we're still talking mainly rain even by five o'clock tonight. But then there'll be this period between say six and 10 where we do deal with freezing rain and sleet. And then it's just over to all snow. So by the time we're with you tomorrow morning on TV, we're going to be talking about snow coming down. It's all about the timing. We're not looking at a you know foot of snow here by any stretch, but one to three inches on top of some potential ice. There's your Union Home Mortgage seven day outlook. So ahead of that, we'll go to Saturday. Some scattered snow showers, upper 20s turning partly sunny. Sunday still looks great. And Maureen, we're right back in the 50s on Monday. I think we need to talk about Monday more throughout this morning. I know. Just to have something to look forward to. All right, Holly, thank you.